Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Julia and Tasha in Crusader Kings 3 with the Prince of Darkness mod. And in this episode we're gonna make our push for the Thieves of the Black Cross. We just need a little bit more prestige so we can call everyone in that we want to call. So we're just gonna unpause and let some uh, some prestige tick in. And of course there's, there's more people calling us into wars as usual. Call on your honor. I'll call you to honor our alliance. Join me in in the Lombard War for Countess Eleanor's claim of County of Novara. Sure, whatever. You should be fine, right? Let's see. The Lombard War is... Okay, not great, because most of the troops are ours. Wait, oh, wait, what? I thought we were allied to this guy. Why are we... Why are we allied to you? Oh, he's our cousin. I'm okay with that. Whatever. Wait. Your daughter learned the Latin language. Oh, great. And we won that war, which is great. Bavaria grew. Or just fixed itself, I guess. Which is also fine. And... Oh, someone's inspired. Excellent. So, this will cost... Um, Linda has a weave inspiration. She wants to weave something which captures the na captures nature's beauty. Her skill is merely decent. She's a guest and we can sponsor it for 100 gold. Which is fine. I mean, that's not that much. We make four each month, so... I'm okay with that. This one, that's yeah, that's one. That one is way too expensive at like a thousand gold, so we're not doing that one. And yeah, sure, whatever. Someone likes me more, that is a okay. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my ward Petronia what she thought. She responded that the sentence was far too harsh for such a small crime. Okay, so she has just, just is good. It's a little bit less intrigue, but. As a revenant, I don't think intrigue is that important for her. So, yeah, I like that. That's good. It fits her well. Inspiration, considered, considered opinion. My weaver Linda updates me on her progress, droning on about the limits of thread and loom as my mind reels with bold ideas for my tapestry. Weaving may not be my personal forte, but that does not mean I can't have a say in how my money is spent. So, we can have a few suggestions, which is a steward challenge and is unlikely to have beneficial effect. Well, not unlikely, but less than 50%. Uh, my background gives me some unique insight, which is a 77% chance to get a little bit of bonus or 60% that nothing happens. I like that. We're gonna go with this one, since 77% is a pretty good... Oh, there we go. That's fine. And the artifact produced through Linda's weave inspiration might be of slightly higher quality. That's fine. My dear wife, I have studied the Latin language for many moons and I personally penned this missive using the Latin script. A letter of friendship from a speaker of Magyar. Neat. Um... Has he learned Latin? Impressive. Send him my regards. Excellent. Uh, I called you to honor our lives against the Duchess of Trifosa. Okay, some minor in Italy. Whatever. That's fine. And ooh, I lose some stress and get a bunch of money. Nice. Happy with that. Inspiration. A vassal to remember. Duke Anguar and his Senator Gishel. Giseler, Giseler, are among the most powerful vassals, vassals in my realm. I never know how to keep them happy, so they don't go around stirring up trouble. Perhaps flattery is the way to go. Anyone could be pleased to have something made in their name, wouldn't they? And I have just the right thing in, in the making. I should let my beneficiary Linda know that I am dedicating her masterpiece to my trusty, trustworthy vassals and ad, uh, advisors. Then again... It is my artifact, so maybe I should just... No. To Anguar and Gisler. I do like to have Anguar happy, but I mean... 
We're kind of besties. <laughs> I, okay, he feels mar marginalized, but I mean, I don't think he's capable of being mad at me. At least not unless I specifically anger him. After all, not. After all, why not? To myself. And dedication are overrated anyway. I mean, how are you? You are kind of mad. And you are a powerful vassal. It's just you want a spot on the um, on the council, but we have someone worse. Did we kick you off for her for some reason? I guess we did, and he's very strong. Oh, well, she's pretty strong too. And she could, well, I don't want to, I don't want to take Anguar off the steward role. You know what? I'd rather have, or do I? No, you know what? He'll be happy if we just, if we just uh, dedicate the, the artifact to him. We make a lot of prestige, 150 isn't that much, it's like... Two years worth of prestige. Not that that's nothing, but it's fine. We'll keep him happy. I'm fine with that. My vassal Countess Camilla Baines accosts me. Well met, liege. I've heard tell of your patronage of Linda, the weaver. They say she's weaving something which captures nature's beauty worth, uh, worthy of a proconsul. Please take this and give it to her. I, would, I wouldn't want to miss the chance of, to aid in the creation of a masterpiece. Poor Camilla Baines must have more money than she knows what to do with. And uh, Camilla Baines pays 15 gold. The artifact produced through Linda's weave might be slightly higher quality. Ooh. Oh, I'll make sure she gets it. Uh, no. Let's go with this. Uh, she pays Linda. That's fine. We might get a better artifact from it. That uh, is great. And let's say we'll do this. Oh, come on, again? <sighs> you really need to... Oh, now it's the Hungarians. Okay, no one. So you are fighting all of House... No, wait, it's House Tremere. Oh, right, this is Hungary. Sorry. So we're fighting Tremere. Mm hmm Do you have any other allies? No. Oh, but you're you're weak. You got nothing. Okay, um let's just raise the army and Whatever. Uh pause. Let's no, not split in half. I never learned these buttons. Let's just take out the man at arms. Good, make this cheaper. And just go and do some token token sieging and then we'll can just we can just move out of there and start our own war because they'll be fine a stranger bo uh, is brought before me she has been waiting outside the castle gates for a week my liege my guard uh, my guard informs me the woman bows deeply my name is Domingas, your highness i have traveled far and wide and seen many things but my family and i are weary of the road if you allow us to stay i will happily share my knowledge of the world with you and be your lo loyal servant oh she becomes a courtier. She is not very good. And he is not very good. But uh, I get some opinion. She, We have more eternal, se servant, no, eternal senate people. And it doesn't hurt to have some extra courtiers, I guess. Sure. We're, we're compassionate. So let's bring her in. It, it feels right. The quarrel. My son, son Count Vingens of Stalber, Stalber has been quarrel, quarreling with Grandmother Queen Tinia for days. Just now. Okay. Ha, his, has been quarreling with his Grandmother Queen Tinia for days. Just now I can, over, I can overhear them arguing in the next room over. Unbelievable. Vincent von Strasburg sound. Vincent von Stral, Stralberg sounds. Shouts. It's hard to read today. 
How can a c coxcomb like you believe that you are the ideal manifestation of clan and true family virtues? I'm clearly far more deserving than that of that distinction than you are. Um. Okay. I mean, she's your grandmother. <laughs> Just generationally, you're wrong. <laughs> so, whatever. Um. I'll, I'm fine with letting them uh, sort their quarrels out in peace. That lowers my stress. And now we're all out of stress. Excellent. That is perfect. And inspiration. Up late. Time disappears in Linda's weavery. Drinking wine as we excitedly discuss the tapestry she's weaving for me. Am I d imagining things? Or is she an in indescribable tension? The hour... Hour has grown late when my weaver puts her puts down her thread, takes a deep cough from her goblet and smiles smiles at me knowingly. Is she? Suddenly Linda steps forward, embracing me. My arms quickly halt her, perhaps too forcefully. Her warmth instantly shills, hardening to confusion and fear. Oh, did you get the wrong message? <laughs> um Unhand me, debauched sinner! <laughs> Oh, oh. She, she has a sodomite <laughs> secret. Oh, I'm not. Um, I mean, I think we're gonna, like, we're not gonna anger her unnecessarily. Because she is making our masterpiece. So, I think we're just gonna learn of it and get some stress. But that's fine. We got plenty of stress to work with. So, yeah. Oh, I'm not. That's yeah, fine. And let's go to that barony as well. The lure of language. Ruling a multicultural kingdom of East Francia comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated when they cannot speak the native tongue in the court, breeding resentment. My grandson, Senator Gisheler, uh, suggests that I, that I could significantly improve relations with my Frankish subject by learning to speak their language as, uh, alongside with my own. Yeah, well, we know what happened last time we did this. I mean, I'd love to learn another language. That is great. That gives us some bonuses. That gives us positive events and all that jazz. But last time we spent a bunch of gold, didn't learn shit, and got a bunch of stress. But this time, I believe in us this time. Because I don't think we'll lose a 75% chance three times in a row. That would be impossible. A bump in the very grave looking Linda, my weaver, hoping that she doesn't bring ill news of the splendid tapestry that she should soon have ready for me. Oh, there you are, my liege. I have hit a wall in my work. Nothing major. My ideas have gone to, gone to ground as the pressure mounts, she laughs nervously. I just need some inspiration. Isn't that what got us into this mess? Mighty pro uh, pro consul, might you have some prior examples I could ex uh, examine? Uh, yeah, sure. To the great hall. Out in the cold, I show Linda around my gra my grand hall, taking great pride in its luxury and the various riches on display. She does a few rounds of the room before returning to me, crestfallen. My liege, there is nothing here that stands out to me. Is there anything else? Maybe some junk lying around. <laughs> oh, that's pretty great. But that's a very high chance that the inspiration is of, of lower quality. So let's just say it's a waste of time. You should, oh, dang it. This is the barony we're supposed to stand in. The lure of language. Incomprehensible. So we, we failed another 75% chance. Despite many weeks of studying, we just can't learn a fucking language because we're... Apparently, not very smart. Well, roll that die again. How many dice can we roll on a four-sided dice in a row? Well, it seems only three because the, the, last, the last roll was a success. After many long weeks of study, I finally have a solid grasp of the fundamentals of, Frankish, of the Frankish language. With continued practice, my fluency will improve, but even the basics un basic understanding has improved my relations with all my Frankish subjects. Excellent! So we get a 
new language, we get diplomacy, diplomacy lifestyle, and we get some opinion. Excellent. And no, we are not. We are not converting culture. So, but we got the language. That's awesome. Happy with that. My beneficiary Linda insists that the funds I have supplied her are not enough to create the artifact worthy of my stature. Which, with just a bit more gold, I could create something truly magnificent. Oh, that's a lot of money. Uh, the artifact produced through Linda's weave might be of slightly higher quality. Or she loses opinion. I mean, might be of slightly higher for 150 gold. That is more than just making this from the start. We do lose a, lo a lot of stress. We don't have th uh, 39, but it is nice to be at the bottom. But, I mean, honestly, just get the work done. I already paid you. Breach of the Masquerade. Ek Ekbert saw Duke Lanzo Sachsen violate the silence of the blood. Okay, so you're a mortal who knows too much. You're garbage. Uh, we do have a little bit of masquerade exposure, but barely any. So we can just... No, we cannot. <laughs> we No, wait. He gains the stress. That's just a 10% chance of masquerade increase, increase. So I think we'll go for that. And we're fine. You, however, have been very naughty. Naughty duke. But we could... He is very happy with us. He is not a powerful vassal, even though he's got quite a bit of levies and quite a bit of men at arms. And he's a duke. So that's surprising. I guess we have uh, a lot stronger vassals than him. But I think we forgive him to get a weak hook. And that is just fine. So there we go. Done. Go away. Uh, actually, just disband. Good. We've done enough in this war to make him happy. And he's gonna win that no problem. And just... Oh. Bummer. We lost some grandeur, but that's fine. We are... Uh, I say we're done with the prestige. We're just gonna fix this little flesh wound. A pool of blood is congealing under the feet of Gunther, a diplomat sent by my ally Duke Heinrich of Volstag of Gior. By the immense uh, quantity of so quantity soaked up by my fine carpet, I can only assume that he has been bleeding on this spot for hours, if not longer. Okay, so this is this one again. This seems to happen a lot. Am I just... Is my kingdom in a, like, bad neighborhood? Does everyone just get shot or stabbed or something while visiting my country? Like, am I doing something wrong? Everyone just ends up bleeding on my rugs. Well, um, this guy, he is uh, my cousin and just some dude. Okay, he's my husband's uh, vassal, so we can make him pay. We get some grandeur, we get some diplomacy, we get some money, but we lose some opinion from him. But I don't think that matters. Ooh, excellent. That will give us more prestige per night, which is not going to be insignificant. Yeah, that's like an extra one per month, which is pretty good. It's only going to get more since it's a percentage. So that's great, especially since we are just about to start a war against our liege by pressing the demand because I want Thieves of the Black Cross. Excellent. So, of course, he's... He's not gonna cave for that, because it's only me. Although, is it? Because we can call house members. No, not him. Or her, I guess. But we can call him for a little bit of uh, renown, but that's fine. I don't care about renown. Oh, speaking of renown, we'd, we don't have a bunch of renown we can spend, right? No, that's not where we do it. We do it in the house. No, we don't. Because I didn't realize I was the house head. So that's great. But we have a bunch of allies to call. First of all, our husband. Wait, that cost a bunch of... 
that's fine. For some reason, I thought it didn't cost uh, prestige to call your husband. But whatever. Uh, let's see. This guy is... Who are you? Oh, you're Friuli. But you have quite a substantial army and not that much to call you in. That's a count. How much do I care about that? Um, count, 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 count. There's a duke. Let's call the Duke of, L of Lombardy. He should be able to contribute quite a bit. Duke? Oh, he's the guy he, we just upset. And he's not gonna come because he's a little... He's a little shit who's mad because I insulted him. Uh, we got a queen. She's quite expensive to call. She is not that strong. Let's call some others first. Like, yeah, this is, isn't a lot of uh, levies, but uh, it's not a lot of Hetaria either. So, oh, we can't call him. We can't call him. We can't call him. We already called him. How about you? Yes, you will be great. And you? You will be just fine at 75. So how much have you spent now? We're just gonna watch all of these roll in. Uh, we still have 350. That is just fine. We Now we just need people to actually come here. But yeah. <laughs> We have a numerical advantage, and how many champions do we have? 101! Which is slightly more than 48. Oh, that is still a lot with just two people. Like, how do you have so many champions? You should not have 40 something. You should have 32. Oh well, that's fine I guess. We still have a couple more to call. Um, I guess we just call her and be done with. No, wait. She's she's kind of underwhelming. Can't call him. Oh, can call you now? No. We already called. Actually, have have we not? No, it's already fighting in our war. Okay, fine. Let's just call her then. She is close by. She's got quite a bit of numbers and she's willing to fight, so that's all I need. So now we just wait for a couple of them to actually converge on us. And let me control it. Thank you. Are you our best? You are, but you are not happy. Why are you so mad? Because you want a seat on the council, but... Oh, you are an excellent marshal. Should we... You are not a powerful vassal, and you are 100% not as good as this guy. So put him there, and make our our best general happy with us. That is great. Okay, so we are starting to get some people over. We can probably win this, right? And we should slow this down a little bit. With some reinforcements, we should be fine. My careful arranged dinner has unfolded according to plan, and I find myself alone with Sensor Friedrich, Frederick Bar Barbarossa. Due to the wine and his favorite fig pie, he seems happier than I have seen him in months. This is the perfect opportunity to convince Frederick Barbosa, Barbarossa to vote for my friend Duke Anguar. Voting for what? Oh, for as... As my... Uh, what you might call it? As my heir? I guess... I... Let's do it for a favor instead, because I don't really care about him being my heir. It's like... It's mostly just for show. <laughs> so... Oh yeah, we are crushing this. Come on, come and reinforce. There we go, excellent. Destroyed. Now we just go and take this back. Oh, and we won against the Tremere. Ugh, Tremere. Fucking gross. So, now you'll come and help, yeah? Yeah, that's 3,000 additional troops coming to help. Which is gonna be great. And as soon as we take this, we're just gonna go and relieve these sieges. And everything's gonna be grand. Actually, maybe we go for these first. 
because they're obviously closer. And we'll be just fine. Oh! <laughs> I didn't go as planned, I think. Ooh, a Roman tapestry. Nice. Uh, short range duration and court grandeur bonus. Okay, the grandeur bonus is nice, but short range duration <laughs> does not matter to me at all. Considering we're, we're a vampire that is... How old are we? Like, older than the game knows how to calculate? Yeah. So... I mean... It's cool. I like that it's a Roman tapestry. In here, milady, my beneficiary Linda gestures to the door of her weavery, where she has been tolling for months on, uh, on my commission. Stepping through the doorway, I gasp as I gaze upon the work hanging in front of me. A large linen tapestry of fine craftsmanship, the cloth depicts a hunting scene, several hunters armed with bows and spears surrounding a wounded animal and are about to de deliver the death blow. Is this... Like a tapestry of when I killed that beast that I haven't even gotten the bonus for. for. Because I was supposed to get like a hunter trait and a, like better marshal and all that fun stuff. Even some some prowess I think. Yeah, which never triggered for some reason. I picked the thing that was 100% but it never triggered. But yeah, whatever. This is lovely. Let's go to our port. And... Oh, I thought we had an event here as well. But no, it's just... It's just that we had a new artifact, which I was going to go and do anyway. And that's excellent. We got our first tapestry. It's... We're pimping up the court. Just excellent. And yeah, we'll win this, no question. Especially with the reinforcements. And they'll still feel marginalized, but they're gonna have to feel marginalized for a while longer. And these are still moving. Is there anyone else coming to reinforce? Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh wait, here's the Lombards. Which is great. So, now we... Where are we even supposed to siege? Where is your... Uh, your capital, thieves. Where do you sit? No, okay. Wh what is the... Fine, whatever. Don't, don't tell me where the capital is. I don't remember how to see this. Oh, right. There it is. For some reason I didn't find that one. But let's just go and siege that then. There's not a lot of places they can go without being, like, killed by another army, because we have armies coming from everywhere. Yeah, whatever. I'll join your war. I'm not gonna help, because, well, I have my own stuff to deal with, but I'll help if you need me to. Well, I'll symbolically help by saying I'm in a war that I'm not gonna care about, and hold the war for Bihar. What was Bihar? It is some place within the Voivodate. Okay, so is it a tyranny war? No, it's a holy war. So who's fighting? Oh, it's some more Tremere people. God damn Tremere, I hate the Tremere. Fucking weird wizard assholes. Okay, well he should be fine. Although... It's a little annoying that, yeah, now all of his troops are going to leave. Which is very annoying because I spent a lot of prestige in having him come in and help. Damn bastard. Okay, go and relieve this siege. We should make it there in time. Yeah, we're fine. And we got the capital, which is great. And we should be killing it in war score. Oh, shit. There... All the way down in Ulm. How dare you take Ulm? Oh, it's... It's not my war. Who cares? Um, let's just go and siege Trier. Um, there should be that one. Should have got little walls. And I'm just bad at seeing that sometimes. Oh, we're already at 87%. Yeah, we're maxed out of that. And wait, what is our objective if not their capital? Um, 
I wish it would just tell me what the objective was right here when you mouse over. Because war score from held objectives, and then it doesn't say what the objectives are, is kind of unclear. Because, yeah, I know we're supposed to take Thieves of the Black Cross, but how is that not Aachen? Since that is obviously the capital. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because we haven't taken this as well? I don't know. Well, we are taking a lot of sieges. So, uh, it should just be fine soon. Yeah, there it is. Easy war. Very easy. Excellent. The new High Lady. It is now up to me to lead the, the vast eternal Roman Republic my cousin Duke Hadestat left behind. I stand before my vassals, adjust, uh, adjust my new crown and put hand to my heart. Oh, the thing I will accomplish. Oh. So, he is uh, still a duke. And he is our vassal now. So, he's the Duke of Westfallen, which is fine. So. Right, I was going to say we're making less money, but we are making less prestige, which is a little bit annoying. I don't know why. But um, we should be making more money now. It's just that I have my entire army up and a boot. So let's, uh, let's go help Bavaria. Actually, we should have... Do we not have a Cossus Belly on Bavaria? Because, well, isn't the thieves... Yeah, look at that. We should have claims all over the place. We should be able to take Bavaria, Burgundy, Tremere, and a little bit of the Giovanni. So... It says we don't have a Costas Belly, but I dis disagree. Although we can go and take like Luxembourg and all that stuff. So we have a lot of uh, venues to attack people now. We greatly in increased our empire. And now we're just gonna go hang out. With Actually, we don't care about Bavaria anymore. So we're just gonna disband our army. And uh, probably disband this alliance. Because uh, we're gonna want to attack them. Because we're gonna want to fight our our way south towards Rome because that's gonna be our end goal education at is at an end how how are you doing you're just at a 14 I was hoping you'd be better but you do have the military engineer and skill tactician which isn't bad and yeah, I guess you are still 16 so there's still possibilities to get this up and how are you not having more children it was 16 years ago since you had your last child come on I even gave you a thing to make babies better whatever how old are you 39 and 46 which is still young for a ghoul they should definitely be able to get get making some more babies okay but she's we're done with her uh, with her uh, education at least so now we have a well-educated revenant running around and just being a revenant Loyal to your fair. As their high lady, my vassal owe me their allegiance. My word is law, but how much is obedience without devotion worth? In times of crisis, a slow response of a half-hearted half effort can lead to disaster. Can I afford such a risk? Um, I will win their unwavering loyalty. Okay. Or we just gain some dread and stress because we're generous and... And Lucretia gains wounded? No, wait. That's Lucretia. Um, yeah, I don't want that. That sounds like unnecessary. And I don't care what Selena cares about me because she is the Red Empress of the Courts of Love. So let's just be a generous leech. We'll lose a little bit of tax. Actually, I don't want to lose taxes. We're just gonna gain some opinion. That's fine. I don't, it's not bad if they're happier with me, but I also don't like her. Well, actually, I guess we like each other a lot, but 
I don't want to like each other a lot because I thought we were rivals. Um, I guess not. For some reason, I thought we were rivals. Huh. Oh well. Um, so if we decline, I'm just gonna decline. So you get to deal with that yourself. I wouldn't mind someone breaking out because like if Augsburg breaks out, then I can just take Augsburg and that's fine. Oh, we can speed up. We are known for our dedication of, of our faith. Excellent. Oh, we have a bunch of uh, events here. So, oh, we got a, an artifact. The empowerment of the Justicars. Oh, we got it because we took the Fifth of Black Cross. Excellent. So, um, what is this? Direct vassal opinion if you fu fulfill the requirement. What requirement? Um, I guess the requirement of having the Thieves of the Black Cross? I don't know. Okay, it's not expensive to re repair at least. Whatever. We have a cool scroll that's been handed down in in the Thieves of the Black Cross, so that's great. The pageantry of court continues day after day, from dawn to dusk. Berenger ex uh, extemporizes my greatness, spouting platitudes and praises. Nearby protector Adana de Svorza joins in, playing the crowd, grinningly stupid and expecting a sign of my favor for her antics. A deep insistent desire to purge myself of today's meal slowly builds, knowing that my mind and Knowing at my mind and distracting my attention, a lone bead of sweat trickles intermittently down my brow. Berenger notices my dis um, notice notices my distance, inquiring, "Are you all right, my lady?" With almost genuine concern. My apologies. What were you saying? Um, lose a bunch of uh, court grandeur, gain stress. Everyone loses their opinion. Um, I'm not gonna just walk up and leave because that seems like a really dumb idea. And I will tolerate them, but only as long as etiquette demands. No, let's just... You were saying, and just get a little bit of stress, but that's not a big deal. And it's poor manners again, burp. As the loud belch, uh, the loud belch echoes through the dining hall, all conversation abruptly ceases. My son, Michael Scott, pats his stomach and grins. Ah, better, in, better out than in, my dad always said. Uh, wasn't it him last time as well? I think it was. Um, so either way, we're basically gonna lose a bunch of uh, of uh, court grandeur, unless we take a lot of stress and insult uh, Michael Scott. We can befriend Michael Scott by just saying, "Oh, come now!" Like we haven't all let one loose before. <laughs> that is a pretty fun thing to say in court, but. It's not a very true thing to say in court. But I want to say it like that. Like, it's good to make friends. Okay, so we're making good prestige, we're making good money. We can probably, maybe, hire some... Uh, some of our people. The... Ah, the... The thing. The primogen, yes. We can probably afford that, right? I think so. And I really need to... <laughs> I really want some more holdings, but I'm not gonna claim them from people because, well... That's, uh, that's how we make people mad. Two years ago, you promised to aid me in the war for Duke, blah blah blah, for Kingdom of Bavaria. And... I'm just gonna... Spend a bunch of prestige, break my alliance, and she will be mad. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Oh, um, yeah, I can help with that, I guess. Um, can we make it there in 12 months, is it? Uh, 12 months. Yeah, we can probably make it there in a year. Just, just put a rally point. Right, that's not how we do it. Right there. 
and raid. No, not local. Um, expand, and then we raise. Uh, raise all. There we go. That's how you do it. And let's just. Oh, it is pauses. They seen through my my ruse. I was gonna let a little bit time pass, but yeah, we are just gonna go and help out and siege like that. But I think with that we're gonna end this episode here and uh, yeah, next episode we're gonna consolidate the fees a little bit and taking taking on some of our neighbors. Maybe even Bavaria, considering we just broke off the alliance with her and Augsburg might break free because it's not going well for her. Like, look at that. She is... well, actually... Well, she's fighting a lot of war, so she's actually not doing very, very well, so... Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.